welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new here, and I am a homeschool mom to five and a military wife. And today I am sharing with you our two week grocery haul. We spend about 650 every two weeks and for a family of seven. And um, this time we're kind of doing a grocery challenge because I already have a completely full freezer, or should I say deep freezer and um, our freezer with our refrigerator as well. Um, and then we have quite a bit of stuff in our pantry um, downstairs and our grains and things like that that we have stocked up. So we are taking about a hundred off so that we can um, put it towards some other things that have come up. So anyways, I so far I'm on, I'm on budget. So that is great. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what we got at the discount grocery store first. And then um, later we're doing a pickup from Walmart and Sam's. So let me go ahead and get into this. All right, so here is our full table here of everything we got at the discount, discount grocery store. Um, I'm going to start over here with the meat that needs to go in the freezer. Um, like I said, our freezer's pretty, both of our freezers are pretty full. Um, we have quite a bit of meat that some that my mom got like on sale for 50% off and grabbed for us and then also some that I got on sale as well and just you know some turkeys and things like that <clears throat> from you know uh, Thanksgiving sales and whatnot so I grabbed two more of these hams they were super super easy because they're already cooked they are never anything hams you know from the uncured, uncured ham from Aldi's so what they do is they get the meat um, right when they have the sell by date and they freeze it and it is after you cook it it'll be good um and you can keep it in the fridge you know for uh, about a week after that so um we have not had any problems with the meat there at all so um this is a package of pork chops and i got two of those for three thirty one and then, like I said, I got two of those hams and then one of the thick cut bacon that was $4.49. So I kind of am stocking up a little bit on some breakfast meats and things like that just to have them on hand. Um, sometimes we do breakfast for dinner and that kind of thing. So um, grabbed two of these nut pods, not nut pod creamers, they're French vanilla and they were $1.69. They do not have the dairy in them, so that makes it easy for me to use in my coffee. Also grabbed two, um, two more of these organic pancake and waffle mixes for 99 cents each. Um, grabbed some more of this uh, Duke's um, beef jerky for $2.29. And then grabbed some of these macadamia, macadamia nuts for $2.49. Grabbed two of these yellow diced um, peaches. Uh, they were a dollar twenty-five. And then the kids found these. These are iced oatmeal bars. Um, I'm trying to think of what brand that they look similar to. Um, it might be, I think. Oh yeah, it's actually similar to these uh, Cliff Kid bars. They look very similar. You can kind of see there. Um, these ones are iced oatmeal, and there are six in there for $2.39. And then I got some of the Cliff Bars, and they are $4.25 for 12 of them. So the kids were excited about those. Grab some more juice just to have on hand in case kiddos get sick at some point. These are um, really these are a really good brand. This one is a morning blend, so it has. I'll have to look. Let's see. Um, apple, pineapple, and orange, papaya, and some other things in there. Um, this one here is just pomegranate. They were both $3.99 for those. And then we do sparkling water for our movie nights. Um, this one, we already have some still downstairs, but this is blueberry, and I just wanted to get the ones that I really liked, um, while they still had them. So this one was $2.99 for 12 I believe. Yeah, 12 and then this one for the for the Waterloo and this one here is sweetened with like fruit juice 
Um, and so this is eight cans, and this one's a lime flavor for $2.49. We really love these blue corn chips here for $1.99. And then I got some more of these original sweet potato chips that I really like. They are $1.79, so I got two bags of those. We got more paper towels <laughs> because we always need those. Um, $2.99 for six rolls. I try not to use them a whole lot just for really messy cleanups. So, grabbed um, these mini chocolate chips. These are like allergen friendly chocolate chips. They are $2.96 usually. They're super expensive, so when I saw them, I did grab a one bag of those. And then grabbed some, a bag of, it's a pound, of walnuts for $4.59. Grabbed some of these um, pretzel sticks because I thought we could maybe do some sort of holiday treat with them. They are $1.25. And then grabbed some sourdough, some more of these sourdough crackers that we like for $1.99. They are a better option for a cracker. So also saw these traditional 100% organic egg, um, egg noodles here. They were $1.99. I know they're more expensive than that usually, this brand. Um, but I saw them, they're a product of Italy here, and yeah, grabbed those. This is the Santa Cruz brand, we really like that. It's a, this is the pure lemon juice for $2.79. And then I also found, found this one here that is also a organic lemon juice for 25 cents. So I grabbed those just to have on hand because sometimes we use them in different things, drinks or cooking or just all sorts of things. This brand I got last time and we really loved it. It has really good ingredients. Um, it was $2.49, so I got three of those. And actually I plan on taking the side parts off, uh, the uh, labels and stuff off, and using them to store some of our spices that we have in bulk because these are great um, jars for that. Also grabbed one of these penne pastas for 50 cents and one of these vanilla unsweetened almond milks for $1.39. Also grabbed a couple boxes of mac and cheese, two of the shells and white cheddar. They were 45 cents each and two of the just the regular mac and cheese for 45 cents each. They're organic. Um, I don't do a whole lot of uh, macaroni and cheese, but every once in a while, it's an easy thing to have on hand. Um, right here, I got some of this Method lotion, Method body lotion, and it's um, it smells really good. It actually, the lid came off while I was shopping, so she uh, gave it to us for just a dollar. Um, it kind of got all over, but it smells good. So um, We grabbed some of the Simply Mills when I saw it. Again, I love the crackers because they have an amazing ingredients. Really, really simple. Really, really... Um, allergen friendly <laughs> and so there's the ingredients this sounds really good um, it's an almond flour baking mix for artisan bread so I grabbed two of those they were let's see 325 for those and then over here this one is a cook they're cookies that are already made but they have again great great ingredients they are sweetened with coconut sugar, so I like that. And I got two of those cookies for $2.49. So, grabbed some more taco shells for $1.49. And then these crackers have really good ingredients too. They're grain-free crackers, everything crackers for $2.25. Grabbed some of this granola for a fun thing for the kids for $2.49. So this is a hot chocolate, or hot cocoa flavored. And then we are out of our almond flour and our coconut flour, so I grabbed some more of that. Every once in a while, I do make things with them. Um, and this almond flour was $5.49, and this one, this coconut flour back here was $1.79. So grabbed those. And then we love this sh uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce, and sometimes we add a little bit to our chili to have kind of a sweet and spicy <laughs> flavor to it um so this one is a dollar 69 
and this dressing this Bragg's um let's see it's a vinaigrette it um had really good ingredients and I've been trying to try to I've, I've been trying to make some of my own dressings but um this is nice to just have on hand to throw something together there's not a lot of things in there that I can't have this was $2.25 and then I love this um drinking chocolate with a touch of chili it's super good it's not super super spicy just like a hint of um, spice to it and it's really good 99 cents for that and then over here we loved making our own spring rolls with these wraps here they're just made out of um, rice so let's see just rice tapioca flour water and salt that's it and these ones so i got two of them for a dollar 69 to kind of stock up on those I, I used stevia in my coffee so i got that for 4.99 and then i got some more of this piece fair trade organic um coffee and it was 3.99 these are for stockings they are they are sweetened with monk fruit and stevia and so i got uh one two three four five of them for some stockings and then also this as well that was a just a dark chocolate for a dollar 49. grab some more olives these ones are two or two 29 and then the kids loved these anchovy olives they are stuffed with anchovies i'm not sure about that but they are 239 that's definitely not my thing but i have a couple kids that really like it um then i really like this uh, lavender scented hand soap so when I saw it, I grabbed it, it was $3.39. And then this one was an everyone brand, but it was also lavender. So I grabbed that one as well because I figured I'd like both of those. All right, then I got four of these light coconut milk um, unsweetened. I got them for $1.50. All right, so we also have some coming from Sam's Club, but those are the full um, coconut milk and they're not the light ones um grabbed two of these black olive cans of black olives for a dollar 49 also grabbed two cans of gabonzo beans for 50 cents each and some black eyed peas for 50 cents then like i said my son's birthday is coming up um this weekend we're celebrating him and he's turning nine well, he turned nine. We're celebrating him with family, and I'm making a bunch of chili because he has a secret chili recipe. Um, so we grabbed some diced tomatoes, and we grabbed another thing of diced tomatoes. The big can was 99 cents, and the little one was 67 cents. I also found this big thing of kidney beans that I thought we could use in the chili as well. This one was $1.49, and then we love these Amy's soups when they have them there. Um, this one's minestrone for $1.69. It's just nice to have on hand in case somebody gets sick or mama gets sick because they have pretty good ingredients. This one's vegetable soup and this one was $1.69. So I grabbed those two. All right, so we got this big can of beef, beef broth right here for $1.50. And then over here we got these, let's see, these... Um, peanut butters that are sweetened with coconut sugar last time and they were delicious and just a little tip <laughs> the natural peanut butters do not mix very well but I actually have like a um just a one person smoothie cup for my blender and I just pour it all in there um and then I blend it up and then I put it back into the container and it works really really well so um it makes it spreadable <laughs> so these were 99 cents so that's why I grabbed four of those we my kids love peanut butter so they also love cookie butter grabbed one of these crunchy ones again for $1.99 also got some of these breadsticks because so, I thought that the kids would have fun with those these were $1.49 then over here um we have gotten some pain relief from there before uh the only thing is it might not work as strong um if it is expired so um or just expired or something but this one was 99 cents um, kids pain and fever we have been using this here um, because we had some colds this last week and it really helped the allergy medicine 
um, really helped clear up some of the drainage we were having. So I got some more of that. This was $1.99, and then these ones are the kids' chewable ones for $1.50. Then I also grabbed some of this goji powder. It's a great, um, it's an antioxidants, and they are, this um, bag was $2.99. So grabbed that to just add into some smoothies and things like that, or maybe some protein bottles or something like that. Um, the very sweet lady at the discount grocery store had some of these Hanukkah cookie box um, sets and so she gave the kids all these um, sprinkles and some icing and some cookies so they will have fun making those even though we don't celebrate Hanukkah we um, celebrate Christmas but it'll still be fun either way so um, that is everything that we got from the discount grocery store and next will be sam's and walmart all right guys so we are back from picking up our groceries from walmart and sam's just so you know um we are also getting um some things delivered from sam's a good portion of what i got from sam's about half maybe um is being delivered so i will be sure to share that when it comes in the mail and yeah this is everything that we got for two weeks um yeah so all right everything this is everything we got from walmart and sam's i am going to start actually over here with a couple things from sam's like i said half of what we got from sam's is going to come in the mail so right here this is a this is two of the three packs of bacon so i stocked up on bacon i thought you know with new year's coming up or christmas or whatever we might do something, some sort of like appetizer things with some bacon and it just sounded really good. So I wanted to make sure we had some on hand for that. We already have a ton of other meat. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but we got two of these Jimmy Dean sausages. We are also at a breakfast sausage. So I went ahead and grabbed these. I usually cut them into um, thirds and then put them in the freezer bags and put them in the freezer and then just take them out as needed. Um, I just add them into eggs or egg bake or just different meals. Um, so grabbed this, let's see, five pounds of organic carrots, this bag of organic car carrots. Um, I have also been putting some in the freezer um, when I get these, but I also juice, uh, do some juicing too on like one day a week um, because it's really good for you so and your Im immune system so um, also grab some organic spinach as well um, so we will definitely use that and then um, down here got just this ground beef right here this is for the chili for the birthday party coming up um, for one of my kiddos and so I grabbed that for the party also grabbed some more strawberries. We have some already in the freezer. You'll probably see that. Um, but we do make a lot of fruit smoothies. Um, and that is what we got those for. And then down here I got the 60 count. This is a 60 count box of eggs from Walmart. So the rest of this is Walmart stuff. Grabbed two of these three pound bags of mandarins. The kids love these. Um, also, you can peel them and just put them in the freezer and then use them in smoothies if you if it, they're starting to get a little bit bad. Before they go bad, you can do that and um, it, it saves some of the food. So we'll see how fast they eat these. Sometimes they eat them really fast and sometimes they don't. So that's how we do it. All right, so I got four of these almond milks unsweetened. I use the original for cooking and stuff like that, and then we use the vanilla for smoothies or, you know, tea or coffee things. Uh, then also grabbed four, or sorry, three of these pineapple chunks in 100% juice, and I use those in to sweeten some of our smoothies and just, you know, to eat as it as is. Grabbed this 96 pack of plastic silverware for the birthday party coming up. And then before I saw the, these at the discount grocery store, I had already added these to my Walmart order. So I grabbed two of those, the honey flavored 
sugar-free barbecue sauce. And then this is a three pound bag of sweet potatoes. We love those and um, also this, th this three count of avocados here. Then grab, I use this dishwasher gel here instead of, uh, I like this better than the pods. I did get the pods last time, but they just have not been dissolving all the way sometimes in my dishwasher. So I really like the gel better. So that's what I grabbed. Also grabbed these paper, two packs of these paper bowls for the birthday party that we have coming up. In the back here, grabbed some of this mild ground Italian sausage. I actually ordered two of them, but they substituted one of them for the Jimmy Dean, which is fine. Grabbed also two cucumbers and I think 12 bananas is what I ordered. So they're still pretty green and eventually they will be ripe. Um, grabbed some, some toppings for hot chocolate. I'm supposed to bring the toppings for hot chocolate for our Christmas celebration with family. So I grabbed some whipped topping, some colored holiday sprinkles, aren't those pretty? And then grabbed some mini marshmallows, of course. These, I told them I didn't want them in the heavy syrup. They substituted the ones that were in the juice for this, but we'll keep these two on hand. Um, I don't like to use that, but we'll, we will use them eventually. Grabbed six of these green beans, six cans of green beans just to ha um, have them on hand, and then two cans of sweet peas. Also grabbed these two packs of tuna and water. We like to use those a lot uh, for lunches, and we do tuna salad or tuna patties, those kinds of things. Then we have some holiday. We want to. We have some holiday things coming up where um, maybe I want to make some breakfast casserole or things like that. So grabbed these hash browns with the onions and peppers in them. I like those. And then as you can see right here, we stocked up on our gluten-free pasta. I like the brown rice pasta. I also like the chickpea, uh, but I like the brown rice a little better. It tastes more like regular noodles. Um, and so I looked at the price and I compared them. These ones right here, the penny ones are actually organic, um, but they are a better price than the Azure rice noodles. So that is why I grabbed them from Walmart and stocked, them up, stocked up on them there. So these ones are just for fun. They're still kind of pricey, but they're stir fry rice noodles. I just thought that that would be a fun meal to have. So I grabbed that and then grabbed three of these spaghetti ones and then four of these brown rice and quinoa penne noodles and two of the elbow pasta. And then back here in the back, we have um, two more things from Sam's that I forgot were on this side, but grab these limited time holiday tortilla chips. They're just, they're just fun. So I'm sure we'll do something fun with them coming up. And then also grab this two pounds of pecans. I kind of had an idea of making some candied pecans with like maple syrup and spices and stuff. So we will see how those turn out. I also have made pie crusts and stuff with them. So one of my favorite nuts. <laughs> um, down here, I got this for us and these for the kids. The kids tend to like unravel this a little too quickly. So grabbed those for them and then some more Tylenol because we were out and some more kids toothpaste because we were out. This is the fluoride free. Grabbed one package or $1. Uh, this package of toothbrushes for $1 because sometimes we lose toothbrushes and I don't know where they go, but <laughs> that's how that is. Then grabbed two of these packages of pepperoni because we like to use them uh, as a snacky lunch sometimes with some crackers and fruit and veggies or that kind of thing. So um, we also do make our own pizzas too. Grabbed some celery and it was it's just really a really good price right now it was 98 cents so i'm just planning on cutting it up and putting it in the freezer so i can throw it into some soups and stuff this um these are also these green onions are a great price i think 89 cents and they just 
flavor things well, so they're a good thing to have on hand. Then grabbed two of these, coconut yogurt, or coconut milk yogurt, and it is unsweetened, so I'm really excited. We usually put um, fruit in our yogurt and make some granola and things like that, so I did get two of these so we could try them. Um, they are bigger than they look. I feel like they look really small, but they are about one pound or yeah, 40, oh, 40 or 24 ounces there. Okay. So that's what they are, 24 ounces. And I have tried some ice cream and things from this brand. So I'm excited to try this dairy free option. All right. So grabbed some aluminum foil because we have been out of that for a long time. And then freezer bags. I usually just get the gallon freezer bags because that's what we use to um, put meat and things in the freezer or put different things in the freezer. So we really just use those. We don't use a whole lot of other baggies and things like that. Um, this is everything, guys. And like I said, there's some stuff coming in the mail um, being delivered. And so when that comes, I will make sure and share that with you guys. I also have a video coming up sharing some of our favorite Christmas holiday um, books that we love to read. And yeah, so be sure to subscribe so you can catch those videos coming up if you like large family grocery hauls and homeschool content. And give this video a like.